everyone, and welcome back to Kronos Plays Phoenix Wright Justice for All. Today, we're finally getting back to the trial. Good morning, Max. Oh, uh, yes. Good morning, sweeties. You don't seem like your usual sparking self today. I'm always like this before when I go and be, go in front of an audience. I'm working up to it. Tee hee. You don't don't get nervous, Maxie. Here, have a glass of milk. That's not a glass. That is a carton, Regina. But Re Regina. How fabulous! My sweetie pie! My sweetie pie princess! You came to watch my performance today? Of course I did! Mo told me that I should come and watch this! Mo said that. So, what kind of performance will you put on today? Let me guess, you'll fly at the end! Uh... It's not that kind of show. Isn't that right, my sweeties? Huh? I think my sweetie pie princess doesn't... Yeah, she doesn't seem to realize what's going on, even where she is. Huh. Well, Max, it looks like it's time to raise the curtain. I'll see you later. Today I'm just a member of the audience. F -f -f Fabulous. Enjoy yourself out there. Good luck, Max. You're the best. Regina's different, don't you think, Nick? Uh, time of the morning to ya! <laughs> Everybody! Let's get ready to get stuck in legal limbo! How, you, how low can you go? How low can you go? Mo! Top of the morning to you, Governor! Uh, top of the morning to you. That's a ticket! Attacking at the, at the day starts with an energy in the morning! Oh, that's, that's just impossible these days. The Euro bird gets the worm! But then again, worms lack higher brain function! Here, Max, I brought you a present! Have some milk! Oh my, thanks. What? I don't know. How are you today, right? Well, I've got the feeling that today I'm gonna face off against the real culprit. You mean Acro? Huh? You think he did it? Be careful. He used to he's used to putting his life on the line. Literally. He got guts to spare! If all I gotta worry about is how thin the type rope is, I'm used to it already. That just, it just means that I won't be able to press him like I can the other witnesses. What, what do you mean? I can't press him like... I got, is this gonna be one of those things where I can't press him like it with Mo? That's like one of my favorite parts, though. What are you gonna do then, Nick? I guess today we'll just have to do without our usual psychological warfare. Today we rely on evidence. What kind of kangaroo court relies on evidence? You're right, but it's gonna be tough. Anyways, I want to make sure that Regina sees it all today. It's important. And she'll finally have to deal with the reality of what happened to her father. You want us to make sure Regina watches? You sick freak. Yeah, that's why I brought her here for today's court. What's that supposed to mean? She needs to know when that when people die, they don't just become stars. Uh, maybe an old-fashioned clown, but I don't believe in people becoming stars. I mean, okay. If I, I thought that was just gonna be like a metaphor for like heaven, but I, I don't know. Court is now in session for the trial of Maximilian Galactica. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Ms. Von Kammer, you may proceed with your case. The prosecution would, like to, prosecution would like to revise its previous theories of events. What's the meaning of this? We discovered a new witness, or shall I say, a new eyewitness. Isn't that, isn't that the same thing? Isn't... Doesn't that mean exactly the same goddamn thing? One that saw Maximilian Galactica fly off from the scene of the crime. Order. I had a feeling something like this would happen, because apparently my court is just a joke. Due to this reservation, we are not prepared to explain how the defendant flew that night. An explanation the prosecution will present as uh, if the need so arises. In fact, my detective stayed up all night creating a mock-up of the scene on my orders. Poor gumshoe. Very well, please call your witness to the stand. Time to get to work, or shall I say, time to walk the time to walk the courtroom dive rope. 
Where did that one even come from? We're not outside! Are they flying around the room? N name and occupation. Ken Dingling. But everyone calls me Acro. I'm employed as an acrobat at the Berry Big Circus. Where were you the night of the crime? I was in my room that night. If you look if you look at the map, though, you will see the witness's room is near the crime scene. My room is on the third floor. The crime scene is below my window. I will admit that's still kind of messed up that they put the man in the wheelchair to his bedroom on the third floor and they don't have like an elevator or any like disability walkways for him to use. That's pretty messed up. <laughs> hmm. Under the crime, the witness saw something quite shocking. Would you tell us what you witnessed? Okay. It was just after 10 p.m. and I was resting in my bed. Around that time, I heard a large thump noise from outside the window. Then a few moments later, I saw someone flying right by my window. It was Max Galactica. I only saw him from behind, but that's who it was, who it looked like. To be honest, when I saw that, I thought I was dreaming. So we can't press. Is that what you're saying? The witness's testimony matches up exactly with that of the clowns. If that's the case, there's uh, there's very little the prosecution need da need add. All that's left is to explain how the defense the defendant disappeared into the night that uh, into the sky that night. Before we get that far, I'd like to cross-examine the witness. A foolish choice by a foolish uh, foolish from a fool by a foolish fool who wishes to fear the foolish sadness of a sad fool. A man must know the proper timing of things, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Just like your old friend, Mr. Miles Edgeworth, did. Mr. Wright, do you have a problem with the witness's testimony? In the words of Miss Von Calmer, may I quote yesterday's proceedings? There's no way that actually happened. Very well, you're right. Not guilty. You may proceed with their cross-examination. Okay, so don't... Don't cross. Don't like, like don't press. I'm gonna try it once. I'm gonna save before I do that. I'm gonna try it once. It's not blinking. So I'm assuming you're not gonna take life away from me. If you do, well then I just won't press anymore. But it's kind of like, pretty shitty if that's the case. You said that you were resting in your bed. Would, one would thus assume that you turned the lights off in your room, correct? That's correct. But there are safety lights around the outside of the lodging house. It's so bright, sometimes it can make it hard to sleep. If that's the case, wouldn't it be a good idea to close the, some curtains? Yeah, exactly. Where does that bird keep coming from? I never really thought of that. I guess that means I'm off to buy some curtains. <laughs> Sometimes I do my make myself useful in these chambers. Yeah, no you don't. Ow! The witness will proceed with his testimony. So we can press. Your room is on the third floor, right? Yes. And you said that you were resting in bed. That is correct. But you are still able to hear a sound from outside. I was indeed. Pressing acro doesn't seem to get results. Hmm. Maybe something... Uh... I don't think so? I mean, nothing he said was really weird. We can come back to it. What's the matter, Mr. Wright? No, 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 Your Honor. Until I can find a clear contradiction, I should tread lightly. Then a few moments later, I saw someone flying right by my window. Are you sure it was a human being? It could have been a mannequin, or perhaps a large action figure. What?! Hmm, well, setting aside the possibilities of a mannequin, an action figure is plausible. You have no need to mince words Mr. F with Mr. F Phoenix Wright. Testify to the truth, and only the truth, just as, just as if we were there with you that night. I believe it was a human. Damn. I just strengthened his testimony. 
I wonder if I how. I mean, no. Jibes with the facts. Really? I don't. Nothing seems wrong there. Nothing. No, I'm gonna keep pressing though. The light in your room was turned off then, right? That's true. I was going to bed after all. So the lights are off. You were still able to clearly see a human fly by your window. The safety lights. The safety lights lit up enough for me to see. But honestly, there was only enough light for me to see the silhouette outside my window. It was. It was the perfect person's back, so I couldn't see the white roses on the front. Do you see any other symbols? I clearly saw the silk hat, as well as the... Uh, contradiction! As well as the cloak wrapped around his body. I'm convinced that the person I saw was Max Galactica. Hmm. More impressive and less results I, get, I seem to get. Maybe there was something... Yeah, no, there was. The hat fell off. It was found at the crime scene. There's a huge contradiction with the testimony that was just given. There's a contradiction? Then prove it with evidence! She's right. Let's see some evidence. Do you ha yes. You claim to have seen the exact thing Mo saw that night. Do you stand by that? What do you mean? The silk hat. What about the silk hat? I saw it on Max's head as he flew by my window. Well, you should have tried looking down at your window that night. Down out your window. That would have been quite difficult consider considering the state that I'm in. Just looking outside the window was a tough enough challenge for me. That's a shame, because you would have noticed that the silk hat found on the crime scene. That... that's the Ringmaster's hat, right? I feel like I misread what Phoenix said. Afraid not! No matter how you look at it, this is Max silk hat, Mil, Max's silk hat. Where are you going with this, Mr. Wright? Are you saying that Max had two silk hats? I mean, probably! No, I mean, it probably! Probably has two silk hats! You don't just have one... Like, if you have a... And I like a costume that you wear day in and day out for like performances. You usually have two or three of them, just in case. Probably more. No, this is a handmade, one of a kind model made only for Maximum Galact Maximilian Galactica. Apparently not, though. Which means, Zachro, that you've been fibbing on the stand. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Order, order. As always, it looks like someone just had to open their mouths before thinking. Are you okay, Nick? Well, I opened my big mouth. Now I have to back it up. How about it, Mr. Wright? What would cause this witness to commit perjury in this court? Oh, he's the real one. The real culprit. Your Honor, on this occasion, the fence accuses Acro himself. On this occasion? An uh, accuses Acro? What in the world are you accusing him of? Obviously, we accuse him of the murder of Mr. Russell Berry. Mr. Wright, are you serious? Judge, how many cases have you presided over that I've run? Every single time! I have found a murderer! Every case that I've done! The people that I am... pressing, cross-examining, end up being the murderer! How are you surprised by this? Deadly serious, Your Honor. <laughs> I think your trips to the circus have served you well. You seem to learn how to try and grab at an audience's heart and mind. Your Honor, don't allow yourself to be swayed by theatrics. Trying to wow the crowd with smoke and mirrors is the oldest bluff in the book. Really? If you don't believe me, just look at the witness. He's calm enough for it to be almost scary. Huh. He's staying right- Get away from me, bird! Or I'll take you out, too! He's staying rather calm and collected. Mr. Dingling, do you have any response to the defense's accusations? I don't really need to say a thing, do I? What do you mean? Everyone, take a look at me. I can't even stand up by myself, let alone leave the lodging house. That's true. I understand that Mr. Wright is just trying to help his client. But to do this by accusing me of murder, of all things... See, even a sliver of common sense makes it clear the accusations are ludicrous. 
She's right. Way to pick on a disabled, you heartless, cruel man! Phoenix the poopy head! See that, Mr. Phoenix, right? If you're trying to drum up support from the peanut gallery, that's how you do it. Uh, I don't care. I think that's enough of this little game. I've got a doctor's note to confirm Akro is unable to stand under his own power. Mid the defense is planning on making a claim to counter this as well. I can hear the defense now. Akro had an accomplice. I mean, maybe. What do you say about that? But there's like no evidence to that, right? So, no? <sighs> yeah, no. Only one sliver of damage, which is kind of shocking. Now then, this must be when we get to hear the name of the mysterious, uh, mystery, uh, mystery accomplice. Not this time, Von Kammer. What? What? You're not going to sucker me into this one. What are you blabbering about, Mr. Wright? There was no accomplice. Akro planned and committed this murder all by himself. Order! Order! What the... What are you getting at? Way to keep them on the toes, Nick! Now I'm gonna have to prove how it all fits together. Have to show how Akro murdered Russell. Can you do that, Nick? I don't know! Can you really do that? I know what I can't do. I can't stop now. If I stop attacking, I'm doomed. All right, let's do it! Mr. Phoenix Wright, if this witness is the killer, then his eyewitness account is all lies, right? Hmm, Mr. Wright, I'd like you to clear something up for me. When the crime was committed, exactly where was Mr. Dingling? I mean, if he's really paralyzed, then he's gotta be in his room, right? He was obviously here in the entire time. That's Akro's room. Pretty simple, huh? Akro wasn't able to leave the lodging house by himself. In that case, there can only be one correct answer. Akro didn't leave his room to kill the ringmaster. Hug myself! What? Are you nuts? What are you... What, do, what say you, Mr. Dingling? Dots? It's an interesting theory. Um, that's it? Considering that that what you proposed is impossible, yes, that's it. Hmm, Mr. Wright. Yeah, Your Honor? As the witness has stated, your assertion is impossible. Oh, you mean it's le it's more impossible than a person flying? As he's in a wheelchair, there's no way he could go to the scene or be the killer. Hmm, you got a point. It seems you've forgotten once again, Mr. Phoenix Wright. The defendant was clearly spotted at the scene of the crime. That's true. Most said that he saw Max, didn't he? Okay, so the movement is intentionally janky. They the window is right above the crime scene. But my, it's impossible for humans to fly. No shit. I mean, it's almost as possible as a, as a person channeling a spirit, but or me seeing psyche locks. Um, there was no pulley system there, though. Yeah. Okay, so here's here here's what we do. We take out that Acro killed him in person. He wasn't actually physically there. What does that mean though? He dropped something on him. Right? Was it the wood was it the box? No, it couldn't have been the box. Because it was underneath the ringmaster. 20 pounds from a third story building though, landing on top of your head would break your neck. They saw Max, and the bust has to play a part in it, 
Did he drop the bust on his head? Where did he get Max's clothes, though? Like, why? How dress up the the bust as Max? Drop it on the ringmaster, and then have it. Well, fly away. He probably had a pulley system. Yes. Huh. Do you mind if I ask a question, Mr. Wright? Yeah, what is it? I understand some of your logic. However, how do you think I killed him? If I can't leave my room, I obviously couldn't wear Max's costume. Huh. How did he do it? That's the next course of this legal buffet. I haven't been to a buffet in, like, years. Well, obviously, with the, uh, you know, <laughs> corona time going on, uh, but... Even before that, I think it was many years I've been to a buffet. The last one I remember going to was in a casino. Which was really good. Be careful, Nick. If you mess up here... She's right. I can't mess up here. I've got to give this some serious thought. I'm sure that Aqua killed the ringmaster. And he did it while he was in his room. No doubt about it. Time to enlighten us on how Mr. Dingling committed the crime, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Court records. Okay. We have a picture of the bust. We don't actually have the bust. Yes. Check. I mean, he kind of looks like he's wearing his outfit, but... Can you... No, and the hat was physical. Wait, what? Okay. I mean, I have no goddamn... I'm gonna try, I guess, present evidence. I'm gonna present some evidence. So what did Mr. use to commit the crime? Okay. Uh... Yeah? What's that? A picture? Yeah. Look at this photograph. Every time you do, it makes you laugh. It is indeed. The problem is with the item that's shown in the picture. The bust. That's quite large bust, huh? And because it's life-size, it's also very, very heavy. Heavy? Heavy enough to guarantee a certain death. Especially if it was dropped from a third-story window. Hug! See? This is how Acro was able to kill the Ringmaster. With the force of gravity and Maximilian Galactus' ample bust. He's well endowed. Order, order. So you are saying the bus fell onto the ringmaster? A rather simple crime. Even if you were struck, uh, stuck in a wheelchair, it would be incredibly easy to commit. How could you possibly wheel a wheelchair with something so heavy? It's impossible. Objection. Well, Acro is an acrobat. He should have more than enough upper body strength to carry something like this bust. He lifts, you know. Mr. Diggling, how do you respond to these charges? They're not charges. <laughs> They're not charges. They're accusations. Way different. Akra's at a loss for words. He should be. He knows I'm getting close to the truth. Well, 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 Akra. Ow! I'd watch what I say if I were you, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? Your Honor, the physical health of the witness is material to this case. I demand that we get proper testimony from the witness himself. Hmm, testimony, you say? Von Calmer. She's just using this testimony as a rouse to stall for time. There's absolutely no need for such testimony. The defense has its version of the murder, the prosecution has the right to respond. The defense's objection is overruled. Bullshit! Why can't he see things my way for once in a while? I need to get a whip! Once I start whipping his ass, he'll more than be happy to bend over for me. Mr. Digling, I'm sorry, but we need you to testify about your physical condition. If you have any doubts about your ability to testify, we can request expert testimony. The witness will have no problems. However, let's all be respectful towards him. Thank you. Ah! That woman will sink to any low to win a case. I mean, this one's not even that low, to be honest. It's actually kind of valid, you know, to get testimony on. But I guess I'll just do that next time, though. See you then!